Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hello. I'm wearing safety glasses. Me too. Bill's got safety glasses on. Why? Why do we have safety glasses on, Bill? Because we're going to cut holes. Big hole. Big holes. So uh, this is a double bunk sleeper. You guys have been following a little bit about what we've been doing with Bill's truck. It's pretty neat, except it doesn't have a window. That's kind of boring. Definitely needs a window. Yeah, we assumed from, you know, since the factory wouldn't allow us to get it, we assumed that the bed was in the way. Well, when we took stuff out, we realized the bed ain't in the way. The bed's not in the way. No. The only thing that's in the way is a big chunk of metal. Yeah. So, We're going to take care of that in a minute. Yep. So, uh, let me flip the camera around. gone. <laughs> flip the camera around and show you kind of what our plan is, and then uh, we'll set the time lapse up, and you can watch us cut a hole in a very expensive truck. All right, so we've got our, we, we, we've, uh, we've made our lines where we need to cut. It's kind of hard to see. We put some tape on this so we uh, hopefully don't damage the paint any. Because, yeah. I mean, we're going to paint the truck, but we don't want to paint more of the truck than we don't yeah. have to, right? There's enough painting to be done without having to paint what's already there. <laughs> so uh, let me look inside here real quick and widen this thing out. Well, for starters, it's got dynamite everywhere. And uh, right here is where our door's going, our window's going. Better not make that a door. That'd be weird. Anyway, that's where our window's going. So we'll take that center brace out you see right there in the middle. And then our window's going in this area. And uh, right over here uh, will be what we use to attach the window frame. Where do we put the window frame? Uh, it's right here. There. So this is our window frame going in. And um, you've got to cut all the way around this line. So essentially this kind of pokes through the back. So and it sits flush once you, cause that's, this is the same thickness as the back wall. Yep. So that will sit flush. And then you would huck it normally. But yep. we don't do anything normal. Yeah, we're not using hucks. We're just gonna glue it. Elmer's going. You just use the Elmer's glue. Elmer's. You don't water it down, though. If you water down the Elmer's glue, it does not work as good. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. So <laughs> one of the things we did uh, to make sure we cut this just perfect right here and getting all these nice and pretty is uh, we went over the laser table and we made ourselves a template. And so this is exactly the line that we have to cut. And it's getting loud in here because uh, they're working on trucks back over here also. Wow. But anyway, we're going to set this up here and uh, we're going to start cutting. Well, first, you've got to cut a big enough hole that we've got a way to clamp this thing in place. Basically, we're going to make sure we're a couple inches in so that we're not damaging anything out here and then we can that yep. and get a perfect cut. Yep. So uh, I'll set this thing up and then uh, we'll watch Bill cut a, a big hole in his brand new truck. All right, a little update here. I got this guy and uh, I actually just got it. We thought this thing would be really awesome for cutting the, uh, the hole out up here, but turns out it just doesn't quite got enough. It's not got the juice in it. It goes too slow, so it creates too much heat. heat. We're afraid of warpage. So we want to get something that's going to cut quicker. And so generally this is like my go-to to cut everything, my favorite cutting thing. But uh, that's what we're gonna use. So now, um, because this spits a lot more stuff around, we're gonna cover up the rest of the truck. So Bill 
You done cut a hole in your truck, man. I did, yeah. It's gone. We didn't like it. It'll be a little breezy in there now. So, in case most didn't know, I don't know how to back up with mirrors. So, I have to look out the back window. So, there was no way I was possibly going to drive this truck. <laughs> It, you know, unless I could just pull in everywhere, which most gas haulers just back, you know, just pull in anyway. We right. don't have to back up. But we probably ought to go ahead and put in a rear view mirror too. Then I don't know how to look at that. You I just, just turn look, around. I, I turn around with my head. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. we could put a camera up there too. Yeah. That just becomes. Then you just get more too much stuff going on. You get yeah, a camera and good. you're trying to turn around and look, yeah. It's worked for me this long to turn around and look behind me. It's good <laughs> enough now. He is, he is totally joking. Because <laughs> yeah, I already know people are going to be like, how are you a truck driver? You turn around, you got to use the window. It's going to uh, happen. I'm just not a very good one. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's, there's part of your truck there. So now, in order to get this dude in, again, we've got to make our, our nice clean cut. So we're going to take our template we made. Uh, me and Bill are going to get up here and... Uh, clamp that guy in place and start getting ready to make the final clean cut so that we can put this dude in. All right. Yep. So our main hole is in there. You can stick your arm in. Look at that. So you can see now we leveled our, uh, our piece up here. So we've got exactly where we want our hole for the window. Yes. And uh, oh, it's perfect. Like I'm a carpenter. We done checked it. We measured from here to here, all the way around. Like everything, it's it's where it's supposed to be. Yep. We've checked it 19 times. We're gonna cut it once. I like to cut three times, measure once, and still be too short. <laughs> so now, now we get a cut right here. Yep. And. Uh, We'll use this because this is aluminum and this is uh, quarter plate steel. So you're going to obviously have to dig into this a lot to get off track. So yep. you can just kind of run your whizzer wheel right around it. Before you know it, we'll have the rest of this out of here and then, uh, then we're going to stick that guy in place. So we got, we got glue. Bill, why are we putting glue on this? Ah, uh, I don't know. I ran out of good stuff to put on it. So I found this in the corner, thought we'd throw it under. So this is the thing we were talking about. Instead of putting a, a blue gazillion rivets in the back of the sleeper adding the window, we have got 3M panel bond and we're putting a bunch of it on there and we're gonna put about 30 freaking clamps on this thing and we're panel bonding the window into the back of the sleeper. This way, when everything's said and done, it'll have a nice clean look to it. And if you want to see what it looks like with all the rivets, hang on, I'll show you. So you'll see there's a rivet line running all the way around that window trim and the rubber there. <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> I just barely can see you through the tinted window. But uh, yeah, so where you got these rivets all running around, that's what's, uh, that's what's holding the window plate in place, whatever you want to call that. But so now essentially what we're going to be doing once we put this in now is it'll allow us to not have all the rivets. And another big thing too, is we were able to lower the window down. What do we lower the window down? Like an inch and a half bill, two inches? What? 
what, how much did we lower the window down? Like an inch and a half, two inches? Inch so it's an inch and a half lower, and that's because it's got another bunk up top. And this will allow us to hopefully, we're gonna actually maybe move the bunk up a little bit too. Yep, we're gonna move the bunk up a little bit so it'll not be interfering with anything. And that way the window will have a straight view all the way through the truck. And uh, you won't have a bunk going through the middle of it. It all works out. Don't make fun of my uh, uh, masterpiece here. It, it's like, um, it's abstract art. Yeah, Picasso. Picasso. What do you think? You think he's done good? I think he's doing great, personally. I mean, if I was a, if I was buying art, I'd pay big money for it. Well, lucky for you, I have this as for sale. Is it? Yeah. I might have to buy it. All right, I'll deliver it to you. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to get this thing in here and get it clamped in. We got this dude clamped up about, I don't know. Half hour ago. Yeah, 30 minutes. And uh, it's, it looks like something out of Mad Max. Yeah, I would say it's like, uh, you know, something's going to, you don't want to put your arm in that thing because it might not come back out. <laughs> There's a there's a gazillion clamps. What do you what do you think, Chris? What does it what does it remind you of? Looks like shark. A shark. I can go with it. We can go with shark. Shark for sure. I kind of like the look. I think we should just hang them everywhere and go to Louisville like that. We we'll just take the Louisville like this. Yeah. No. No, I'm not gonna put my head in there. It's like one of those Venus fly traps, maybe. Yeah. So. uh yeah, there it is. I'll, uh, I'll jump inside real quick and show you guys the back side here. So here's the back. Just, uh, you can see the glue kind of coming through everything just good. Just like it needs to. This thing's not going anywhere by the time we're done. So uh, basically this stuff takes about, oh, I don't know. It's four hours clamp time. And I think it's 24 hours for like where it's, a hundred percent so we're basically going to just leave this here tonight and then come back in the morning and uh pop the glass in this thing make sure everything works like it should which it definitely should we're also going to make some braces that'll go from uh basically go from here and then up to here and that'll just be some extra added support for the window and uh this thing will be ready to rock and roll all right, so the hole has been cut. The, what do you call that? Framework. The framework has been installed, is going nowhere. And now we've got the rubber gasket to put on. Very strong. Very strong. Strong like bull. Strong like bull. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, now what we're gonna do is uh, we'll put this rubber gasket in place, which is this guy right here. And then we'll be installing this string, which will be used to get the glasses in that box into the deal. And then after all that's said and done, you stick this rubber piece in the channel, which uh, finally tightens everything up. It locks it in there. Yep. yep. Um, and most important thing, soapy, soapy water. water. Lots of it. So uh, I'm gonna set the camera back here and we'll just start getting to work on it. Right on. So is Bill. We're both very happy now. Very that happy. That. It's been bugging both of us. It, it has. Ever since this truck came in new, we looked out and all my other nine trucks in the batch had back windows and this one did. I'm like, it just looks terrible. We what do we do with that big space? <laughs> that so, looks so much nicer now. We ordered the whole window kit and uh, cut the hole in there and it's like, 
I and just so you know, you can't get it's not that we didn't order it, you cannot order a truck with two beds and get that window. So that's why we couldn't order it. But now we've got a way better looking window in there because we have less rivets. It's a yep. cleaner look. Um, and for anybody looking close, it's roughly an inch and a quarter lower than your factory standard window, yep. which allows us to almost clear the, the top bed. And we're going to raise the top bed about an inch and a quarter and it will completely clear them. You, when you look up in there, you won't see that bed. Which will be nice because when you're looking from the inside of the truck, jump in here and show you what he means is make this wider. There we go. So where the bed's going to go, the top of the bed will basically be, uh, let me zoom in here, kind of where that cross member between the cross member of the window, it'll be right there. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. And so ba the window will stay now. Uh, evenly between the bottom bed and the top bed. And it's going nowhere. So, I don't know. Pretty cool. Whole interior is all dynamatted now. It, what is, what's left, Bill? Just that back door? The dynamat? Yeah. Yeah, I got to do the floors. The, well, that's last. Yep, I got to do the floors. And then uh, I, got, I got this dynamatted. I can actually... Uh, insulate this but it's in my trailer at the other shop yeah and then we'll we had to cut this out um, there's a panel here from the factory but we had to cut it a little bit more to get the old insulation out which is just crap insulation in my opinion so I'll have to make a little bit bigger panel here and put a couple nut zerts and it'll be like bing bang boom new now Bill says it's like not good insulation but I mean just so you know I mean his standard of good insulation is much higher than most people's. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> this thing will be uh, probably the quietest truck I think I'll ever ride in by the time we're done with it. Yeah, because I'm gonna, we're gonna build panels underneath the sleeper and underneath the cab. So I'm actually going to be insulating on here as well as underneath it. it. Yep. So my goal is to shut the door and just drive down the road and almost have to look at the tack to see what the engine's doing because I don't want to hear anything. This is going to be super quiet. I just like it quiet. We're going like for this whole luxury down. thing, like with what we've been doing with the interior and stuff too. And so, I mean, it'll also have that same feel when you're driving down the road because it'll be quiet like a lot of your luxury, car, luxury cars are, right? Yes. I'm excited. We got it done. Yep. I feel accomplished. I feel like we got something. Yeah. We're getting somewhere now. That dynamat's tough to put in. That was a big job. But it's got a window and you guys watch us do it. It's not terribly hard. I'd say a window guy, like, you know, would probably do it about twice as fast, putting the glass in part. Yeah. But, um, but we did all right. We did all right. <laughs> all right, guys, that's it for the video. Um, we got a window. It's cool. Yeah. I, ooh, you can see right through it. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. You're giving bunny ears. Hey, man. It wasn't that bad. It I wasn't. was a little nervous about cutting the hole and measuring all oh. this stuff, but. I mean, it's only a back wall. What's the big deal? I mean, if we mess it up, we just put a new one in there. Right? I mean, we just get another bunk, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Reskin it. No, I to it totally wasn't all that bad. You can get the, the window frame from Peterbilt. You can do this yourself. Um, I suggest taking a lot of time and mark and mark and mark don't don't do like me where you you know cut three times and measure once and it's still too short do it the other way around the the template for us made it way easy way easier uh, yes. you, you can be real sure about what you're doing because we were able to set the template up take measurements off the template know exactly what we were doing and so when we clamp that in place and cut it we weren't we knew we weren't messing up right you can't you can't you can't draw outside the lines at that yep. point yep. so but um that's it. So we got a back window and um, there'll be some more updates on this truck, but I just kind of give you guys a little bit of forewarning. The, the videos on the truck may not be as in depth for a little while. Um, we're doing a lot of stuff. We're going to kind of keep it a little bit secret, but we will, we will definitely keep you guys up to date with what we're doing. And you know, maybe I guess you'll see the full deal. But stay tuned for some other cool Rethwish rides that are at the paint booth right now. Yep. So I know a lot of people are asking about Legendary. 
be patient. We'll show you other content of stuff that we're building. And then when this is done, it'll be legendary. Yeah, basically. So. You'll see little bits of it, but you'll see the finished thing in a few months. Right on. If you guys want to do, like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, at Semi Casual Show, and uh, at Rethwith Shop. At Rethwith Shop. That's it. That's it. Later. Bye.